story that's been told about this, the biggest fib, over and over and over again, is that this thing is going to create jobs. And I've listened to one reporter after another talk about jobs versus the environment. Thank heaven, yesterday, in the Washington Post, some reporter actually managed to call up the people who'd been doing these studies and find out how crazy they were. There are no jobs here. The only study we have that wasn't funded by TransCanada shows that this pipeline will kill as many jobs as it creates. And that's why a whole big swath of the labor movement has been fighting with us from the beginning. Real leaders in this battle. We've had just a few days ago, the National Alliance of Domestic Workers joined this battle. They were saying many of our members come from countries that are already feeling the worst effects of climate change. And we have had the Amalgamated Transit Union, and we have had the Transit Workers Union, whose international vice president, Roger Toussaint, is a terrific hero, and he is here to talk with us now. So I come to you from the Transport Workers Union of America. We represent transit workers in New York, Philadelphia, Miami, San Francisco, Houston. We represent railroad maintenance workers on Amtrak. We represent flight attendants and maintenance workers on Southwest Airlines. And we represent maintenance workers on American Airlines. So we stand with you against the pipeline. with you because it is so hugely destructive of the environment on both sides of the border and violates the homeland of the Native American people, the Native people of Canada, sorry. We stand with you because it closes the door on bringing global warming under control in a big way. If this pipeline goes down, then it will lead to a dismantling of environmental regulation in many, many areas. And for those reasons, we stand with you. It will have huge effects on the, these protections have a hugely important for millions of people in terms of protecting their health and their well-being. So we call on the Obama administration to concur with the Environmental Protection Agency and not issue a permit for this, for this pipeline. We are here to stand against the lies and deception and the blackmail and the false promises of the oil and energy companies about the jobs that this pipeline will supposedly create. The numbers went from a couple thousand to tens of thousands to a hundred thousand, even to a million jobs, if you look at the most recent ad. Just lies and deception, no truth whatsoever. So we stand with you because the very same interests that, are, that is behind this pipeline are the interests that are funding the broadest attacks on the rights of the American people in generations. The rights of the American people to have a voice at work, collective bargaining rights, the right to vote, the right to have a say in the economy, the same money the interests are attacking all of these rights. This pipeline is for the environmental movement and for environmental justice, what Wisconsin is for collective bargaining rights and for the rights of people at work. So President Obama, we want jobs, not lies. Mic check. President Obama, we want jobs, not lies. President Obama, President Obama, we want jobs, we want jobs but, not jobs, but not jobs, as grave diggers of the planet. As grave of the planet. Stop the pipeline. Stop